and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do this look that i have on here show you how i got it and i'm using cream shadow sticks or crayons whatever you want to call them i use these today i'm also in the middle of moving if you haven't seen my latest vlog so my bed is literally on the floor and that's my bed frame all taken apart someone from facebook marketplace was supposed to pick it up today but they're not responding to me now so that's why it's that's what that is we're a little in shambles, but I want to do some makeup today, so let's go ahead and get into it. Just starting with a little bit of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I literally just put a little strip here and here on the cheekbones and a little bit of glow. And then I pulled out this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And we'll try that today. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use this foundation brush from Sephora. I really only used this once, I think, when I first, like the first time I tried it. I was doing like a full face of ColourPop. I haven't tried it since, but this is going on really beautifully. It has like a really pretty glow to it. I feel like I forget so quickly what I think of a product unless I like was obsessed with it. That is actually so so pretty. I really like this um, tone of this as well. It's light 45W so it's a little bit warmer. It has like more of a yellow undertone and I feel like it just matches my skin tone really nicely and I like that warmth but really pretty really like beautiful on the skin feels very lightweight and it's like a little bit glowy obviously i put that like glotion on my cheeks so they're a little glowy already but i just feel like it looks really nice and hydrating like it says it's supposed to <laughs> and i use the sephora best skin ever concealer around my nose really and a little blemish here but that foundation has such like great solid medium coverage that i don't really feel like i need a ton more coverage my nose is just always so red add a little extra layer there and then i'm going to take the maybelline eraser this is the pink one and put that under my eyes kind of got some grayness under there that will help correct it. I'm so blown away by how by how my, Bahama. I'm so blown away by how my skin looks actually. I definitely remember liking it when I first tried it. I just I guess I don't know if I realized like quite how beautiful it is. I'm just gonna take the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer because I this one's like a little bit lighter than my skin tone and I'm literally gonna put the littlest amount. I just feel like it's so pink. I don't want it to like appear too pink. So I did a little bit of like brightening and correcting and now I'm just kind of like canceling out that that pink I guess so that it's not like visibly pink under my eyes. But I like this for under eyes specifically. If I remember right, it has, you know, kind of like an eye cream aspect to it. So it is supposed to actually like benefit your skin as well, which is cool. Then I'm going to go with the Merit Bronze Balm. And just do a little bit of sculpting. Literally just on the cheeks. Especially with my bangs now. It's like, why waste product on my forehead? <laughs> I did apply like my foundation obviously so everything was nice and smooth looking and like all one one color and everything but I'm not gonna add any bronze or anything literally just a little bit of this to add a little bit of depth that is like a cooler color so I'm using that for some depth and then I'm gonna use the dibs stick this in shade two I think I don't know. I'll have everything linked down below. But this one's a very, very warm bronzer. So this one I'm going to just do a little bit higher than where I put the Merit one. 
and add more of that like warmth in my cheeks versus a cooler contour shade. That bronze balm definitely like works as both a bronzer and a contour, a good just kind of like middle ground, but it is a little bit cooler. So if I want to add that kind of bronzy warmth, just adding that dibs on top. And I feel like the dibs is like very, very warm, like clearly warm and orangey so i just add that like more on the tops of the cheeks like where the sun would hit to give me some warmth and speaking of warmth i think i'm going to use the nude sticks picante blush i wish i had the full size but a while ago when i wanted to like purchase it and try it um they were all sold out of the large size so i just had to get like the travel size with the bronzer and like highlighter that it comes with but so pretty. I'm excited that I feel like a little bit more comfortable using this now with the spring and summer. Obviously you can wear it whenever you want, <laughs> but because it's so warm and so orangey and so summery, I was kind of like saving it to use in these warmer months. Super pretty. I always go, especially with a color like this, I go like over my nose because I want it to look very sun-kissed and like I got a little bit of like sun over my nose. I'm just gonna set under my eyes and down my T-zone and I'm liking this foundation so much. I pulled out the Pretty Fresh Powder Pressed Face Powder. So I'm gonna try that again. If I remember right, this adds a little bit of coverage too, like you can wear it by itself or you can use it on top of your foundation like I am. I feel like my skin looks flawless right now from that foundation and the powder too is very like blurring and I'm very like... A Definitely more coverage than I've been used to lately, but it is very beautiful. I just plucked my eyebrows this morning, so I feel like they're shaped really nicely. I don't have to do much like shaping or anything, so I'm just going to take a clear brow gel and just fix them like where I want. And that's really it. I feel like I'm thankfully getting the shape back from like kind of messing them up a little bit one time like I just when I plucked them I just went a little too far which normally I don't really have a problem with and I don't usually do but I was pretty mad at myself but I've just kind of let them grow and they're coming back to being the shape I like so I'm just using the brow fix clear brow gel from Charlotte Tilbury which is like very good product i really really love the wand in this it grabs every little hair so i think i'm just gonna do that and my bangs are kind of covering them anyway so i think that's all i'm gonna do with my um eyebrows so it's kind of like going through my makeup while getting my stuff ready to like move and i saw these three crayons like eyeshadow crayons and i really love using like eyeshadow crayons like this kind of more one and done shadows it makes for such an easy quick look and these kind of creams have such good like color payoff especially when they're like shimmery um you just get so much more like shimmer and like bang with these i feel like than just a normal powder shadow so i want to do a look using all three of these I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Khaki, more like greeny gray color. That's like my darkest one of the three. And then I have the Ulta Beauty Cream Eyeshadow and Liner. This one's in Taupe of the World. It's more of like a brownie taupe color. That's like the medium shade. And then I have the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. This is in Golden Pink. So this is like the lightest, very like highlighter shade, but I just want to do a look with all three of these. A lot of times, like I said, I'll just take one of them and do like a one and done eyeshadow. 
but I wanted to try using all three on different parts of the eyes kind of. I also just really wanted to like try these again and see how they looked and worked. So I'm going to start with the Top of the World Ulta Beauty one. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. Such a pretty tone and color. Very shimmery. More like shiny, I guess, than like glittery or anything. So I pretty much just went right up to my crease, not really like in it too much, but just right up to it. And I'm just taking my ring finger just to blend out the like hard edge. See what I mean? Like that is so pretty by itself. This could just be the look with some mascara and be done. But then I'm going to take the Laura Mercier one in khaki. I'm hoping this will bring some like smoke and sultriness to the look. I'm going to line my eye with this. Use it more of like a liner. But just create that depth and smokiness around the lashes. These are so easy to use as liner, especially if you like your liner smoky like i usually don't really like just a line of liner i like to blend it out i just feel like it's a lot softer on the eyes and creates that like depth without creating that harshness of a line so this works really well as a liner so much easier to apply to i feel like i'm going to take a little pencil brush and just blend that out a little bit the shadow does dry down but not too quickly. Should be able to smoke it a little bit before it dries too much. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm actually going to go over with that Ulta Beauty shade again. I'm going to take the same one and do the same thing on the bottom. What's kind of nice about this too is like when you put shadow like this under your eyes. Like I don't know about you but I have very creasy eyes like underneath my eyes are very very liney and creasy so it's kind of nice to put especially like a deeper color like this and you kind of just cover up the lines they don't crease anymore when there's shadow on them and you're kind of just making them like disappear a little bit almost but now we have that nice sultry depth i'm gonna go back in with the alto one and do a little bit more on the top of the lid that depth is gonna kind of stay and peek out from underneath, but this is gonna help like blend the two colors. I kind of like the under eyes this deep, but I think I'm gonna do one layer of the Ulta one underneath too, just to make it a little lighter, a little more subtle, kind of match the lid. Then I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown. I don't even know really where I got this, honestly. And I don't know if I've ever tried it. But it's a more like pinky, champagne-y, light highlight color. I think I'm just going to put this like in the very center. Just as like a little bit of like a highlight point. Just using my finger to kind of tap it out. Just add a little bit of lightness. A little like bit of like a spotlight almost and i think i'm also going to put this on my brow bone use it as a highlight i like that they all seem like they may not work together very well but they all kind of came together and worked really well together this one's more of like a brown ish like in that color family kind of taupey tan warm colors the khaki is a very like cool grayish green tone and then this one has like pink in it and it's very light but they all came together to create a really pretty different look so just giving the lashes a little curl and i've been loving the rare beauty mascara top and bottom i'm going to line my lips with the iconic nude liner I love these pencils so much because you can literally just like whip them on and they'll always look good. And I'm going to use the matte lipstick from MAC and it's in the color taupe. I think it will complement the eyes really nicely. 
Okay, so that is the finished look using those cream shadows. I love the way it turned out very like sultry almost grungy but without being like too intense definitely let me know what you thought down in the comments below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye